Hello and welcome, it's Adam from Better Proposals here and today what I want to teach you how to do is command a higher price and have it agreed more often. Now the only way you can realistically do that is by justifying the price. So if you ask somebody to pay you £10,000, if you are going to provide them £3,000 worth of value, it's quite clear that is a bad deal. If you're going to provide them hundred grand worth of value, good deal, right? So basic maths 101 for all of you that failed your GCSEs. Um, now, in terms of justifying your price, there's a relatively straightforward way of doing this. Now, this isn't going to be able to be applied to every single different scenario, but if you sell something that is going to increase leads for a business, or it's going to increase sales of any sort, or it's going to increase the value of the company, or anything financial, um, or anything numeric that can be tied back to finances, then this is something that can really, really work well for you. So I'm just going to use the example of a web design company uh, just because it's a nice, simple example and we can all understand it. So if somebody, I'm going to completely get the numbers wrong here. I'm just making all this up off the top of my head, but you're, hopefully you'll get the point. If somebody is generating one lead a week and you're going to go in and replace their website and you're going to hopefully generate them, you know, relatively easily, four leads a week. If you're able to work out or ask them, okay, what's your average sale? and then work out from that, right, well, what's your margin on that? So if they're selling a thousand pound product and they convert, say, one in four, um, they are going to be making one sale a month from their website traffic. Again, one lead a week, converting one in four. If you think that you can get them four leads a week and you think you can also help them improve, improve their conversion rate by, say, half, then all of a sudden they're going to be going from making one sale a month to whatever that is. Is that eight a month? I don't know. Maybe. So if you're asking them for you know, three or four thousand pounds for a website and then all of a sudden what you're suggesting to them is that instead of making one thousand pound a month in sales um, or you know, profit or whatever, they're going to be making eight grand a month. It's going to be a hell of a lot easier to ask them for that money than if you never said any of that at all. So you know, if you're doing any kind of sort of search engine optimization, paper click work, uh, I mean, uh, uh, marketing, lead generation, website stuff, conversion uh, improvement, anything like that, anything that could be remotely tied back to any sort of revenue uh, improvement, you are going to stand a much better chance of sort of winning them over and helping them or getting them to convert when you can justify that price with logic. So um, yeah, give that a go, St try, your, try it on your next proposal, um, come back to me, adam at betterproposals.co.uk. Um, and let me know how you get on with it. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.